just for future reference, Steve, this was not my idea. This was his idea. This was his idea, okay? Not my idea. This one. There's Steve. Steve stands there. And Classic Martin said, we'll get crush it. Stand it. <laughs> personal to me this one. Um, my late granddad died a couple of years ago. He was he worked on the trains for 40 years. Um, he was a shunter. Don't ask me what a shunter is, maybe I have to Google that one. But um, yeah, he was a shunter on the rail for 40 years. So this week we've met up with Ginger Captures. Um, Darren Moorhouse, he's um, set up a, a Facebook group. I'll link it in the description below. He's created a meetup at Rubblehead Viaduct. So, obviously, that's been captured many a time. And the reason we're here has also been captured many a time, but not by me. I've never, ever caught this before. We're here to catch the um, Flying Scotsman, and the conditions are perfect, absolutely perfect. There's li very little wind. We've got lovely light on Ingleborough, as it stands right now. I don't think it'll change. I mean, it's due in 40 minutes, and I can't see the cloud changing that much uh, it's spits and spots of light but it's it's the conditions are absolutely if you could pick conditions this is what you pick um, so I've, I've got all set up um, it's it's a classic composition uh, there's that many people here getting a different one is a little tricky but this this is this like I say this is something very personal to me the composition I've got set up right now is I've got a lot of grasses in in the foreground I did want foreground in, in this image, um, foreground interest. I'm a very, I'm an advocate for foreground interest. If you can, it's sometimes you can't do it, but if you can find that opportunity, I, I highly recommend you do that. So like I said, I've got some grasses in the foreground, just leading you into the image, um, but that's pretty much it. There's not a lot you can really say about this, this image. Um, so like I said, we'll leave it here for now, maybe get the drone up. I am going to actually put the drone up above me and just hover it while the train's going over so you get a different angle altogether so I might even get two different compositions so yeah so uh, stick around enjoy this one Darren's over here like I say ginger captures link in the description this is the reason we're here so uh, yeah stick around guys and I hope you enjoy this one right then guys uh, little update we're still waiting it is exactly 10 minutes late now apologies for the camera angle um, you're actually attached to my tripod and I didn't want to move the height of it but at the same time I need to be hands free because I'm going to have that much stuff going on in a second I don't think two hands will be enough I've got you guys filming there sorry I'm just, I just keep looking over in the direction um, I've got you guys there I've got the camera here I'm going to put the drone up in a second and just hover it a little bit closer to the viaduct and after that I'm going to try and turn and follow it with the drone um, so next time I check in I'll probably be a bit frantic <laughs> um, I'm a little calm now but it's one of those 
this is one of those days where you get one chance at this. You, you can't redo this. You've got you've got to get everything set up and then leave it. Um, obviously, the first thing I set up was the composition, and then everything else just hopefully, fingers crossed, will just flow nicely. So I will apologise in advance if I, this gets a little bit pandemonium. Because um, like I say, I've got that much happening. But uh, as far as I can see, there's at least six or seven, possibly eight drones in the air. So we could be jostling for, for, uh, for space up there. <laughs> so that, that might be fun. So uh, yeah, next time I check in, hopefully we'll have the, uh, the arrival of the Flying Scotsman. And like I said earlier, this is very, very personal to me. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I know my parents and my sisters are gonna are gonna like this as a tribute to my granddad. So uh, yeah, I'll check back in hopefully before the sun sets because it's already 12 minutes late. So yeah, uh, stick around, guys. I promise you, it will turn up at some point. Um, just have to wait and see. It's it's the waiting game now. So I'll uh, I'll check back in very soon, guys. All right then, guys. Um, we are now good to go. The flying Scotsman is now coming over the over the viaduct. Uh, the drone's in the air. You might be able to hear that, but it's go time. So I'll leave you running. You're gonna see. You're gonna see how I how I uh, approach an image uh, visually. So here we go. It's just it's maybe a hundred yards off the bridge now. Bit of live commentary here, this is something different, isn't it? Here we go. The smoke isn't as prominent as I was hoping for. It's more grey than white. Um, unless... Unless at the very... On the bridge, he actually goes nuts. Did you hear that? Can you hear that? Here he goes. Here's the black smoke. Right, I may go out with shot in a second. Because... Right. I don't believe this. I don't know if you heard that from Darren, but there's somebody who stood right in front of my camera. I do not believe it. I do not believe this. I have been here a good hour, and she's just stood right. I do not believe this. I can. Oh. Right then, people, I'm going to get the drone and try and follow it. I'm not going to lie, I think I've failed there. Um, yeah. That's, that's really bothered me, that. Um, I'll just bring the drone back, guys, one second. I, I honestly cannot believe... I'm not gonna lie. I am very, very, very disappointed there. Stood here for the best part of an hour and a half, and within seconds to go, she stood right in front of the camera. Or he, I'm not sure, I couldn't really make it out with a white cap on. So, yeah, what I will do though, I'm going to let everybody um, disperse from the area, and I will get another image. Uh, of a cleaner area, a cleaner foreground if you like so what I will try and do and I say try because I've never done it before what I'll try and do is I'll try and overlay an image on top of the other um, and just get the airbrush and just brush out the foreground to try and clean it up a bit so the image that I will put on screen will be altered it will be uh, alternative images it won't be a as taken image
but um, I will put the ones up pre-edit if you like so you can see what I'm working with. Right then guys, as you can see, Ribblehead Viaduct for the Flying Scotsman is complete. Uh, it's a bucket list one, that one for me. But, <laughs> not, to, not to end on a sour note, it's just, I think, as I said earlier, somebody stood up and it was directly in, in my image. Um, obviously, <laughs> Obviously, there's no rules or regulations and all that to say that you can't do that. What I mean by this is it's a bit of photography etiquette. Uh, just be aware of other photographers around you and try your best. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but just try your best to um, not get in their composition or, or spoil their image as such. So what I've had to do there, I... Uh, I captured the image with the train on, on the on the viaduct and then I left it maybe 10 minutes after the train had left and then I got a, a clean image if you like for for the rest of the image so what I'm going to do there in Photoshop I'm going to overlay one on top of the other and just use the brush tool to take out parts of the image that I don't want, i.e. the people. Um, now I've never done this before, I've, I've never ever done that before so this is going to be a learning curve, so uh, yeah, but look, I think what I will take from, from today after what I experienced a few weeks ago with the negativity of social media being a cruel player sometimes. This is the flip side to that. Social media has proven, not that I needed proof, but today that it proved that it can also have a positive, uh, i.e. what I mean by that. Meeting Steve and, and Martin, and meeting up with Darren and Daz yet again. Absolutely fantastic bunch of lads, and um, we've got a, a gr good little group going round here. We all, however, have our, have our uh, Facebook groups, Thumbs Up Photography, and Ginger Captures, and mine, Creative Community. And I will link all those groups down in the comments, or better still, in the description. Uh, so I recommend if you not, aren't already, head over there, join the groups, and I'll I'll, I'll vouch for this right now you will not regret it. Uh, any, all three of those groups, fantastic, helpful. Uh, they'll only critique if they're asked to. They won't just do it off their own bat. So uh, yeah, head over there. I'll also leave Martin, Darren's and Steve's YouTube channels. Now I'm already guessing if you subscribe to my channel, you already know who those three guys are. But if, if by some miracle you don't, links in the description for their channels. So head over there, show some love, and uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you all next time. So let's get in the comments, let's have a, a bit of interaction, and um, hopefully join me next time. If you are in the area, highly recommend you head over to the Station Inn Hotel. I have just had the most amazing... Uh, chocolate sponge cake and coffee beautiful absolutely fantastic but anyway guys thank you ever so much for watching and i hope to see you all next time in the next vlog next week sunday 8 a.m every sunday 8 a.m thanks for watching guys and i'll see you again next time bye for now